Hello everyone, in last video we did a demo of uh, anti-phishing policies and see how it uh, works. In this video we will see how ATP safe attachments work in uh, Defender for O365 and do a demo of it. So we get uh, anti-malware protection in Exchange uh, Online Protection, but this uh, ATP safe attachments provide an additional protection on top of it. It works by scanning attachments in emails in a safe environment. So you could think of it as a separate VM running in cloud with no link to your Office 365 tenant or data. So the attachments are opened and scanned in that VM. So if any threat is present or any malware is present in that attachment, it does not affect anything. It only affects that VM. In last video, we saw that for anti-phishing, there is a default policy which affects all the users but uh, for safe attachments there is no default policy we will have to create one and target it to users so let's uh, create a policy and see what options we can select as our responses so we will go to our protection.office.com under threat management we will go to policy and then click on ATP safe attachments here we will click on create and create a policy so I will name it as policy one here are the responses which we can select for unknown malware in our attachments in email so these are the options off monitor block replace and dynamic delivery off as the name suggests it will not scan the emails and deliver them immediately monitor will deliver the messages with attachments and then track what happens uh, with detected malware block will scan the message and if it contains a malware it will block the message and put it in quarantine where admins can review and delete these messages so there will be a delay in delivering safe messages because they have to be scanned first replace removes the attachment with malware and it delivers the message so there is also a delay in delivery in replace because the messages are scanned first. This dynamic delivery is in preview and only works with exchange online mailboxes. So in this, the message is delivered without the attachment with a placeholder for the attachment where attachment is later appended once the scanning is completed. But if the attachment has a malware, then the message is quarantined. Most PDFs and Office Docs can be previewed in safe mode while scanning is going on. So these are our five options. So let us select uh, block here. And here we can redirect the message if it's a blocked monitor or replaced attachment to another email address. So I will send those messages to test user one at anudev.co.in. Sometimes a message scanning can time out or may give an error. In that case, that message may not be delivered. So we have selected this checkbox and that message will be delivered to this email address. And this is useful in cases of genuine emails with genuine attachments, which are timing out or giving error. So they will be delivered to this email address and then can be reviewed and sent to the original receiver. Here we select the condition where we want to apply it. So I will apply it to all the recipients in my domain. Next and finish. So this was for our attachments in emails, but what about our documents in Teams, SharePoint or OneDrive? So for that, we have a global settings option here where we can turn on ATP for SharePoint, OneDrive and Microsoft Teams. So if a file in any SharePoint, OneDrive or Microsoft Teams libraries identified as malicious, then ATP will prevent users from opening and downloading the file. So it provides an additional layer of protection on top of a common virus detection engine which scans files at upload time. It detects and block existing files that are malicious in team sites and document libraries. And when a file is detected as malicious, it gets logged with a red cross next to it. Users can download the file, but this could be blocked by admins by running this uh, command. So 
by default user can download malicious files but you can block this by running this command admins can view reports or explorer to view detected files the other option is uh, turn on save documents and this is for office 365 apps and it is only available with e5 license so in this case it works on microsoft 365 apps for enterprise version 2004 or later so when you open a file in your microsoft 365 app then the ms defender atp it scans that app and that app during the scanning time will time will only be in read only mode and we will not be able to edit it only once it's scanned and it's safe we will get the option to edit the file and if we select this option allow people to click through protected view even if save document identified the file as malicious so this will allow the users to bypass the warning and will be able to edit the document if we select this box so these were additional protection options for sharepoint onedrive microsoft teams and microsoft 365 apps which are here under safe attachments i have downloaded this anti malware test file called eicar.txt and i am going to send this file through email and see what happens now under protection.office.com slash quarantine i could see that my email has been flagged as a malware and now it's in quarantine so i could select it and take action on it i could release the message download or remove from quarantine i also uploaded the same file in my onedrive and uh, here is that file i also zipped it and saved it so we see a red sign here so the atp for onedrive sharepoint and teams is also working if i click on that it's saying the file is compromised by mal malware so i could download it because i did not run that command which was in my powerpoint slide to block the download so i could download it so this was a demo on atp safe attachments where we also saw how atp for sharepoint onedrive and teams works i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video Bye bye